Hello friends, welcome. Today we are going to work our core muscles so that you feel supported from our center. All right, let's begin. We're going to start with our diaphragmatic active lateral breathing. So let's go ahead and place your hands, the heel of your palms on the side of the rib cage. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Now, inhaling, allow the rib cage to expand into your hands sideways. Exhaling, drawing the abdominal muscle in towards the spine to support your spinal column and out through the mouth with the breath. Now, as we inhale, hold the abdominal muscle in and expand the rib cage again. Exhale. Inhale, hold the abdominal muscle in as you breathe into your hands on the side of your rib cage. Exhale. I'm gonna do three more times without talking with you. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One last. Excellent. Now that you're sitting a lot more upright, let's take your arms out to the side. And let's move on with our lateral stretch. We inhale, we're gonna tip our body to the right side, your right side, my left side. Take the top arm over and come back, stretch and come back up to center. Over to the other side as we inhale. Exhale, take the top arm over, come back in breath and exhale. One more set, in breath, exhale, stretch over. Inhale, exhale, last one, in breath, exhale, stretch over, in breath, exhale, and let that go. Let's rotate our trunk, our spine to the left, sorry, my left, your right, and then place the front hand on the knee and keeping the spine long, we're going to twist even further as we inhale and exhale. One more, inhale, exhale, and let that go over to the other side. Lifting up tall, and inhale, and exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale, and release back. Excellent. Let's get ourselves onto a modified quadruped position. Tuck the toes under. Have your pelvis between your knee and your heels. Heel of the palm underneath the shoulder and your spine in a nice long position. Take an inhale. Now I'd like you to, as you exhale, we're going to draw the abdominal wall in into the spine. So you feel that supporting, that action is supporting your spinal column. Hold the abdominal wall in as you inhale. Expand the rib cage sideways. Exhale. Drawing the abdominal wall in. Inhale. Exhale. So we want to avoid any movement in the spine, whether it's a flexion or extension. So the movement is purely from the abdominal muscles. In breath, exhale, pull up the abdominal muscle in, one more, inhale, exhale, pulling in and let that go, release the ankle, release the feet, bottom towards your heels and stretch your arms forward for a quick rest position, in breath and exhale and roll the spine up okay let's take ourselves lying on the floor roll to the side and then go ahead lie on your back 
right. Feet are hip distance apart, hip width distance apart that is. So a fist between your heels and your toes, shoulders open, arms are long. Let's move on to our pelvic rocks. We take an in breath. As we exhale, draw in the abdominal muscle and I like you to then rock the pelvis, imprint the lower back, the bottom comes off the floor and release. Exhale, abdominal muscle in, imprint the back, bottom comes off and release. Three more, we're just gonna rock. Mobilizing the lower spine and the sacrum, the pelvis. Exhale, two more. Inhale, release. Last one, exhale, rock and release. Let's take it further to our pelvic curl. We breathe out, again, abdominal muscle drawing in, imprint the lower spine, press the feet, press the head, peel the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, articulating up. Your hamstrings are working, your abdominal muscles working, your inner thighs are active, the chest is open, the arms are long, in breath. Exhale, roll it down from the upper back, middle back, lower back, and the pelvis at end. Again, in breath. Exhale, abdominal wall in, imprint the lower spine, peeling off the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, and your gaze is to the ceiling, and keeping the neck lengthening out of the shoulders. Exhale, roll it down from the top, middle, Lower spine, sacrum, and back to the neutral pelvis position. Let's do two more times. Exhale, we roll up. In breath, hold. Exhale, we roll down. And release. One more. Exhale, we roll up. In breath. Exhale, we roll down. And well done. Bringing the legs together, squeeze them like as if you are a mermaid or merman here. Take your arms up to the T position, palms facing up, press the back of your arms down. Let's do a modified spine twist supine, which is we're rotating from the waistline. I'm going to go to my right, so you can go towards me. Now you bring the leg together as one unit, the opposite shoulder stays down, Exhale, shh, abdominal muscle in, bring the legs back to the middle. Over to the other side, inhale, the legs travel as one unit, you're rotating from the waist. Exhale, shh, center. Inhale to the right. Exhale, shh. Make sure your inner thighs are attached together. Exhale, shh. One which side, inhale. Exhale, last one, inhale, actually let's do one more time, inhale, exhale, center, last one, in breath, we twist, exhale, we come back. All right, let's take your arms down by the side. Open your feet to hip width distance apart, I'd like you to stabilize the pelvis and the lower spine. You can take one hand, resting in the front of the pelvis and you can slip the other hand just underneath the lower spine. I like you to draw in the abdominal wall, so really hugging that waistline. Now, as you breathe up, pull the belly in, take the right foot off, take it up to what we call a tabletop, knee over the hip and the shin bone is parallel with the ground. Moving from the hip joint, stabilizing the pelvis in the lower spine, we tap the leg down as you inhale, exhale, we take it up. Inhale down, exhale, in breath down, exhale, two more down, exhale, last one down. Okay, and take the leg down. We can switch your hands if you like. And let's take the left leg, exhale, stabilize the pelvis. I don't want you to bulge the belly out, but pulling in towards the spine. We lower from the hip. Exhale, we lift it up, in breath, exhale, in breath, exhale, two more, exhale, last one, exhale, hold, hold that leg up tabletop, take your arms down by the side, now as you breathe out, we're going to switch the leg here, so pulling in the center, 
Exhale, switch. And then switch. And then switch. Again, movement from the hip socket, keeping the angle of the knee constant. And switch. And switch. Switch. One more each side. Hold. Bring both legs up to tabletop. Okay. Have your knees slightly separated. Place the palms of your hand pressing against your thigh. Now, I like you to pull the thigh towards your chest, but resist the thigh with your hands. Shoulders nice and easy. Abdominal muscle in. Okay, let's go. Exhale. We press up and push down. Hold it. Three, two, one. And let it go. Two more times. Exhale. You're going to feel the abdominal muscle, your TVA muscle, transverse abdominus, activating as you press down with the hand and up with the thigh. And let it go. One more time. Exhale. Pull the belly in. Don't arch your backs. And three, two, one. And release. Well done. Take one foot down. Second one down. Interlace the hand. Place your hands at the back of your head. Moving to our chest lift here, the elbows come off the floor. As you breathe out, we draw in the abdominal muscle in. Lengthen the spine and lift the chest up, looking forward to your legs. Rest your head into your hands in breath. Exhale, come down. And three more. Exhale. In breath. Exhale, come down. Two more. In breath. Exhale, come down. Last one. In breath. Exhale, come down and release. Well done. Turn your body towards me, please. Now, extend the bottom arm long. Stretch your legs long. Okay, have your legs together. I like you to have your pelvis stacking up on top of the other. The bottom waist is lifted, so I want to see a little gap underneath the waist. As you breathe out, we draw in the abdominal muscle in, lengthen the spine, reach the legs up, then you're going to imprint the lower waist down to the floor. And lower, keep the legs off the floor. Exhale, we lift. So I want you to use the front abdominal muscles and your back muscle equally and lifting the legs with the obliques at the top. Waist. And lower. Two more. And lower. One last. And lower. Let that go. Bend the knees. Help yourself up. And let's go over to the other side. Same thing. Underneath arm is long. Legs are long. Chest is open, hips placed one on top of the other. Okay, and you're ready. Breathe up, pulling in, lifting, imprinting the bottom waist down, and we lower. Exhale, lower, but keep the legs hovering off the floor. Exhale, two more. Exhale. Last one, exhale, and lower. Well done. Bend the knees, help yourself up, and come back again to your modified quadruped position. Stack the shoulders and the heel of the palm in one straight alignment. All right, let's move on to our cat. We breathe out, we pull in the center, we round our spine here. Inhale, lengthen, take it up towards extension. Two more times. Exhale, we round back to the long spine. Inhale, extend back to the long spine. Last one. Exhale, back to the long spine. In breath. And back to the long spine. And stay here. I like you to keep the spine long. Draw in the abdominal muscle in, so really hug it into your spine. Press the hands, press the feet off 
uh, towards the floor and lift the knees off the ground and we're going to hover here. So the knees are floating off the floor. We're going to stay here in breath. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. Two more breath. Exhale. Last breath. Exhale. And lower the knees down. Let's do that one more time. In breath. Exhale, pulling the abdominal muscle in. Support that spine. Press the hands and press the feet down. And lift the knees floating. In breath. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. Your gaze is still to the floor. Your neck is long. One more breath. Exhale, release, let the ankle go, let the feet go, and then release the bottom to the heel, stretch your arms forward for your rest position. We stay here in breath, exhale, one last one, fill up the lungs, expand the ribcage to the back and to the side, exhale, and roll the spine up, coming up to a nice long seated position. Well done. Thank you for joining me again today. Have a great day. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.